From acquiring Russell Westbrook from the LA Lakers, not from the LA Lakers, but from a bio from Utah Jazz, to now losing in double overtime in one of the highest scoring games in NBA history, to now being on a three game losing streak. The LA Clippers have a record of 33 and 31, and they are. A playing team. They are third in the Pacific Division. And most of the analysts keep saying that the LA Clippers are the team to beat in the Western Conference. Stop it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back and getting one another video. Let's talk about this team. LA Clippers. The leading scorer on your, on your team is not Kawhi Leonard. It's actually Paul George. Averaging about 23.5 points per game. Kawhi Leonard is averaging 23 points per game. And Russell Westbrook, who y'all acquired, is averaging 16 points per game. She y'all acquired Russell Westbrook, his debut was versus the Sacramento Kings. Y'all was supposed to be a team of defense, right? Look, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George... Norman Powell, it was Reggie Jackson, but he left. Them two alone, Kawhi and Paul George, they can lock up a lot of a lot of offensive players, right? Well, let's go over the last six games, shall we? Lost to Dallas before y'all had Russell Westbrook. Gave up 110 point. Gave up 110 points. Gave up 119 points to Giannis and company. That's doable. One versus Golden State gave up 124 points to Golden State without Seth Curry. Gave up 107 points to Phoenix Suns who y'all beat without KD. Now let's get to the last three losses. Y'all lost the last three straight games. 175 points. 176 points. Are you kidding me? That's supposed to be a defensive team, right? In overtime, 134 points. Denver, got you. Jokic, got you. And then 108 points in the Minnesota Timberwolves, who only have Anthony Edwards on the team now. Can we stop the narrative of having the Clippers as a team to beat? The Clippers, what have they done since they acquired Kawhi Leonard and Paul George? The furthest they have gone in the playoffs... Is this Western Conference semifinals, and that was in a bubble with oh, oh, I think y'all remember they blew a 3 1 lead to Denver Nuggets when Jamal Murray was the show in the bubble. Not only they blew it and they choked, Kawhi Leonard and PG combined for 24 points in game seven. Paul George hitting the side of the barn in the, in the fourth quarter. Kawhi Leonard was the only one trying the first three quarters and then, then the attempt to do anything in the fourth quarter. Jamal Murray over there giving it to y'all, dropping 40 in the game seven. And that was the last time y'all went far, far in the playoffs. And y'all continue this narrative, oh, the Clippers the Clippers look good. The Clippers are the team to beat. Nobody want to play the Clippers, man. I don't know if y'all y'all really think the Lakers, the Lakers going to go any far. The Lakers look better than the Clippers. The Lakers have a championship since they require AD with LeBron. Y'all can call a fraud championship because it's a bubble. Y'all can call all that y'all want to. They have a championship. What has the Clippers... When have they won a championship? Oh, I, I answer for y'all. Never. And yes, Paul George is right. It would mean in, in everything to the Clippers if they win a championship. 
Absolutely. He's 100% right. Duh. Y'all ever want nothing else? If the Clippers actually win something, then they would actually get some recognition in L.A. But can we stop saying this narrative or all y'all analysts that the Clippers are the team to beat? They are bottom of the Western Conference. They are playing team. They are about to be a playing team. They are the sixth in the Western Conference or seventh. They're in front of Dallas right now just by one couple of games. And they lost three straight. And the pick of Russell Westbrook, he's a better fit on his team. But it's kind of late in the season now if y'all can get the chemistry together. And y'all still think, oh, when they, when they get this team together, oh, they're going to be they gonna be tough to beat. They're they going to be a contender. Contender. Define contender, y'all. Because it ain't this team. And Tyron Lewis one of the best coaches in the league. I agree with that. But all the talent y'all got around this team, and y'all still underachieving. And y'all been underachieving for a uh, decades. We all had Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, Matt Barnes, Jamal Crawford, JJ Redick, DeAndre Jordan. Now y'all have Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Now Russell Westbrook. And the furthest y'all got with Kawhi and Paul George is the Western Conference semifinals. <gasps> but they contender though. Now let's get to Kawhi Leonard. Hall of Famer. Two-time finals MVP. Two-time NBA champ. He got he got his Ring, really good ring with Toronto. Let's just be honest, y'all. Nobody's saying this. Kawhi Leonard has regressed. Doesn't look the same. His injuries are slowing him down. He's not the same player in my eyes. He's still good. He's still efficient. He's still Kawhi Leonard, but he is not the Kawhi Leonard in San Antonio and in Toronto. He's not that player no more. Can we stop with this narrative? Can we look at the facts? Not not look at the analytics. Can we look at the game that we're seeing from him? He's not the same player. His injuries are slowing him down. Still a great defender. Still efficient. Still got the mid-range de- game of Pat. But not, let's be honest, not none of these teams are afraid of them. They're not afraid of them. They see right through this team. Like I do. Paul George, he's getting up in age. He's still he's still productive. Is he the same player? No. Russell Westbrook. So much criticism on Russ, but I admire how he has been performing this year. Is he the same player? No. This is an overrated team that is getting up in the age and that looks sluggish. They'll put up numbers and they will they will perform 100% and have great nights, but the Clippers are the most inconsistent team in the NBA. This is why the LA Clippers are frauds and too proven otherwise. Comment down below how y'all think about the LA Clippers because I'm tired of this narrative. Oh, the LA Clippers are a team to beat. Oh, they're gonna be they're gonna be contender because they, what they have on paper. Everything's on paper. Same thing with Phoenix Suns. We don't. Just, I seen how KD now. KD made his debut. They look. They look great. But they played the Hornets. Can we see them going with some top tier teams? The Clippers can't be contenders if they're giving up 176 points. Sorry. That's going to do today. One of this video. If y'all enjoyed the video, give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
and I'm out, y'all.